George Washington Williams was an African-American historian, veteran, politician, journalist, and author that few African-Americans nor Congolese have ever heard of, yet he played a significant role in African-American and Congolese history. W.E.B. Du Bois described him as the greatest historian of the race. Williams was born free on October 16, 1849 in Bedford Springs, Pennsylvania to Thomas and Ellen Ruse Williams. At age 14, Williams enlisted in the military to serve in the Civil War. After serving many years in the military, he was eventually discharged due to an injury to his chest. Williams then decided to enroll in a theological institution in Newton, Massachusetts in 1870. Following his graduation, he assumed the role of pastor at 12th Baptist Church in Roxbury, Massachusetts. Williams eventually left his position at the pulpit and embarked on a journey throughout the North and the South to secure funding for his newspaper called The Commoner. Most of Williams' articles spoke out against the violence that was happening in the South after the Confederates reemerged, destroying the efforts of African Americans during the Reconstruction era. Williams also took on a political career and became the first black member of the Ohio legislature. He had also begun conducting extensive research on African American history, which led to him publishing one of his greatest works in 1882. It consisted of a two volume work entitled History of the Negro Race in America from 1619 to 1980 Negroes as Slaves, as Soldiers, and as Citizens. He aimed to dispel the misconceptions about black people in America. Williams' extensive research allowed him to display knowledge of West African kingdoms before many other historians had ever understood their contributions. In 1890, Williams traveled to Congo, being initially impressed by King Leopold II, whom he had met previously, but was soon outraged by the atrocities he had witnessed in Congo. In 1890, Williams penned an influential open letter addressed to King Leopold II, in which he exposed the widespread enslavement, torture, and murder inflicted upon Africans by the king's subjects. Williams utilized a wealth of eyewitnesses, testimonies, letters, and official records. Williams became the first to challenge the carefully crafted image of the king's rule over the African territory. He wrote, Your Majesty's government has sequestered their land, burned their towns, stolen their property, enslaved their women and children, and committed other crimes too numerous to mention in detail. The publication of this letter sparked an uproar that circulated throughout Europe and America. Newspapers on both continents demanded thorough investigations, and the Belgian Parliament grappled with questions about the King's truthfulness and credibility. Unfortunately, George Washington Williams passed away on August 2nd, 1891, from tuberculosis and pleurisy in London, England. In 1975, a tombstone was placed at his grave by an American historian and local supporters, commemorating Williams as an Afro-American historian.